Oh, I hear you. I'll just say, if I had known in March that that was the last time I'd be having sex for months, I would have had his roommates join in. I would have called the neighbors in. I would... Oh, hello. I was just talking to my mother. Welcome to Stir Crazy, the cooking show and craft show for shut-ins like you. I'm beloved local drag queen Elsa Touche, and this is my dining room. And it's my craft and sewing room. Pretty much it's my only room, darlings. And we're here and not in my kitchen because for this webisode of Stir Crazy, we are preparing neither food nor beverage. No, instead, I am going to show you how to make a very simple, reusable cloth face mask. Now, a mask that covers your nose and mouth has been widely recommended by health professionals as an effective way to protect yourself and others from this pesky old coronavirus. Now, as an added benefit, they also obscure your face when you're out there demolishing the police state or liberating and reappropriating home electronics from a Target superstore. Why you use this mask is your business. I just want you to stay healthy and get home safely because I love you, I do. To start, you'll need two eight inch squares of fabric. You can make this mask reversible or you can choose a softer fabric to go on the inside against your face. And you don't need to buy anything special. Any fabric you have lying around is fine. An old t-shirt or a pillowcase works great. So I have a square of champagne colored bridal satin. This fabric scrap was left over from the dress I wore for the crowning ceremony when I won the California gold pageant. Thank you, thank you. And I also have a square of this cotton pickle print fabric. Now for some reason years ago, I bought yards and yards and yards of this on clearance at a fabric store thinking I would do something with it someday. And well, I guess that day is here and that thing is reusable cloth masks. You can also use two 12 inch pieces of quarter inch elastic to loop over your ears. Now, if you don't have elastic, that's fine. Just improvise. You can use a couple pieces of ribbon or some thick yarn even that you'll tie behind your head. You are an intelligent person. I'm sure you'll figure it out. It helps also to have an iron, and of course it helps to have a sewing machine. If you know the very basics of operating a sewing machine, you can whip out one of these masks in about 15 minutes. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, that's not a barrier. You can sew this by hand. It'll take just an hour or so, you know, smoke a bowl, put on some music that you like, and spend an hour or so hand sewing. It's really a very enjoyable way to pass an afternoon. All right, so you're going to sew the squares together with their pretty sides facing in. So you're sewing it together inside out, darling. But first, you're going to pin in the elastics or strings so you can sew them in between the squares. You can measure the placement if you're one of those precise sewers, which I am definitely not. This is meant to be a very quick and easy, very simple way to make an effective non-medical grade mask. But if you do want to measure, it's about three quarters of an inch from the top and bottom of each side, like so. Now you just sew around the square with a quarter inch seam allowance is fine. And you want to leave a two or three inch gap in the square. So don't sew all the way around it because you're going to be turning the square inside out. All right, so backstitch to start. And you can also backstitch when you go over your uh, elastics because that will uh, hold them in a little bit better, but not necessary. Just, you know, if you feel like backstitching there, go ahead. And here we go. All right, so when you're done with that step, you're going to have your inside out square uh, sewed together. Next, you want to cut the corners off. Don't cut through where you've sewn, but just cut the corners off there. That'll help it lay flat. And then 
through the hole you left when you sewed it, turn the square inside out. Get it all nice. So this is what we have now. I've pressed the square flat, including that seam where the opening is because I'm going to top stitch around the whole thing and close that hole. But first I'm going to create pleats and then press and pin them in. And you can measure the pleats as well, darling, but life is so short and this project is meant to be easy. So easy that even a non-sewer can do it. All right, so I've got my pleats uh, pressed and pinned into place. So I'm ready to sew around the edge of the mask. A uh, very close seam on the top and bottom, so you're sure to uh, close that hole that you left. And also uh, maybe a little bit wider seam uh, on the sides where the pleats are. I've done three pleats, but you can do four if your face uh, is a little bit smaller and needs a tighter fit. Also, I have eight inch squares to start, but you may want a smaller square if you have a smaller face. Uh, I have quite a big face. I don't know if you've noticed, so I need eight inches uh, at least. And that's it. I've sewed all the way around the edge of my mask, making sure that I sewed the hole on the top closed. And this is ready to wear. You can tie a knot in the ear strap and adjust the knot up and down to wherever is comfortable over your ears. And then you're ready to head out and protect your community from coronavirus and also thwart those pesky CCTVs and, and nosy news cameras, darling, while you're out there demolishing the police state. Oh, I'm so proud of all you freedom fighters. You're really making a difference. And I hope this mask uh, how-to was helpful for you in some small way. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next Stir Crazy back in the kitchen when I've figured out what exactly I want to eat. All right, bye-bye. See you next time.